You are watching Cold Fusion TV. Hi, welcome to another Cold Fusion video. Togogo here. Okay, so what's going on here? It seems that Samsung is planning to produce an 11K mobile screen. This surely is ridiculous. Has the technology department at the South Korean company finally just lost the plot? It may seem that way, but let's find out more. According to Korea IT News, Samsung is teaming up with over 13 local and international companies to try and have 11K display phones by 2018. What's interesting here is that the South Korean government itself is investing $26.5 million over the course of five years to make this a reality, which I think puts a slightly nationalistic spin on things. But more on this later. So an 11K resolution is obviously hard for us to fathom as people living in 2015. Today's technology of 2.5K phones pales in comparison. So let's put the screen into perspective. You guys out there who love specs may get a kick out of this. Assuming in 2018 that we have similar screen sizes like we have today, an 11K display would have a resolution of about 11520 by 6480 pixels, with a pixel density of 2250 ppi. For comparison, a Galaxy S6, which is the sharpest phone at the moment, has 577 ppi, and an iPhone 6 has 407. Put in pixel terms, this screen would have a whopping 74 megapixels. A modern 1080p screen is about 2 megapixels, and a 4K display is about 8 megapixels. So that's all well and good, but the question must be asked, and this is probably what you're all wondering, what is the point? Well, the point actually may not be what you think. What you're about to hear is the primary point, according to Samsung's display executive, Chu Hee Yong, and I quote, we are hoping that we are able to show these technologies at the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics in Korea. End quote. It's basically primarily to show off South Korea's technological prowess on the world stage while everyone is looking. You can now see why the South Korean government has a direct interest in this. Yong goes on to say, quote, Although some might think that 11K is over specification that consumers do not need, this can work as a basis for the Korean display industry to take another leap if related materials and parts improve through this. End quote. So basically, the secondary goal is that Samsung wants to move the whole display industry forward. So is it possible? Well, at the moment, it's hard to say directly on my end, but I'd assume that with $26 million of direct funding, a lot of progress will no doubt be made. So another question that's quite important, what about the practical uses? What is such a high resolution screen on a mobile phone going to be useful for? Well, one obvious use is mobile virtual reality, an area where today's 2.5 screens fall well short of the clarity needed to mimic real life. Another such application is mobile convergence, where a user can make use of mirrored projection on a much larger screen size with external inputs such as a keyboard and mouse. Okay, but obviously there's going to be some drawbacks, right? What are the negatives? Well, obviously, the more pixels you have, the more power it takes to keep them lit, and the harder the onboard graphics unit has to work to change all those pixels. So we'll see a massive decrease in performance and power efficiency. However, this may be offset by the growth in mobile performance by 2018, which could be anywhere from 4 to 16 times more capable than current day devices. So what's the conclusion here? Well, if I may inject some personal opinion, I think 11K is overkill to be honest. I think 4K resolution should be a happy ultimate screen specification for 2018 and beyond. But then again, I could be completely wrong. After all, Bill Gates famously stated in 1981 that 640 kilobytes of RAM should be enough for anyone. So what do you guys think? Please leave a comment below. Anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Dagogo. Don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you're new. There's plenty of other interesting stuff on this channel, and I think you'll have a lot of fun here. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Cold Fusion. It's new thinking.